Julie, good morning. Hi. Oh my God, was this in the middle of the heat wave? Was it one of the hot days on uh, in yeah. your... Yeah? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Sunday. On, oh, very hot. So you and the yeah. tribe, how many of you went to your beach, Clay Castle, I suppose, somewhere like that? Uh, no, the Mall. The um, Mall. Oh, where is that? Yes. Yeah. Where is that? It's in the middle of town, we'll say, by the courthouse, between the courthouse and the Keys Bar. It's tiny. Very small. Very, very pretty, actually. Okay, I know it. And uh, it's perfect for kids to know, because, you know, clean the sand and it's small. Okay, yeah, so April 7 and her little friend Ava 8. What happened? We went to the beach. Um, the tide was out. Um, we set up our area and the girls got unchanged and they asked could they go paddling and I said yeah I'm coming straight down after you and the girls headed off down the beach and I was standing there and I was looking at them and I could see them heading down and I could see Ava sitting on the ground and April, Ava had her back out to sea and April was kind of standing over her um, I had a cup of coffee, I took a sip of coffee and I pushed it down, done something else, I turned back and I made my way down towards the beach and I could see Ava inside in the water and she was struggling. Um, oh yeah, an instinct kicked in straight away um, and I just, I just ran, ran straight down to her, I was calling her name and... No, no no armbands, flotation devices, nothing like that. No, nothing, because we... They were paddling, the yeah. Can't, yeah, the girls can't swim. So that was the whole idea of, you know, just some place where they could just paddle and play in the sand. Yeah. Um, and I closed all, everything on, ran straight in, not realising that there is a shelf there for all the world. A drop um, ledge. A drop ledge, correct. Yes. So you're one minute um, you're walking in maybe a foot of water, and next minute, boom, is it? Yes, there's nothing. Nothing. I ran in about two feet, and I was gone. There was no ground, no nothing. Um, they, I went to grab, I grabbed Ava, and I couldn't keep us both afloat, and I just was screaming, screaming for help, and there was a man standing on the beach on the phone. I got his name. His name was Nigel. And he came in and I was able to push Ava towards him. Um, And he even went from the ground was gone. He didn't realise it either and the ground was gone. From under him. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And he was able to pull Ava into the water. She was inside in the water struggling, you know, for... A good few seconds, a good few minutes even. Was she calling out? She was, she was. And and I said it to him, I said it to the, her afterwards, you know, and I said it to my daughter as well. And my daughter goes, oh, I thought she was missing. And people said it afterwards. They thought that she was missing. I suppose, you know, when you see it originally, you kind of like, you, you, when you see it on your own doorstep, you don't realise that it's happening. Do you oh, know that kind of way? Yeah, you can imagine, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And... I when when the Nigel grabbed Ava, I tried to turn to come in and I couldn't come in. Um, I just I couldn't and I just everything was in slow motion. Can I you swim? See, uh, I can I can swim to stay afloat. I couldn't do laps of a pool. All right, you know, well, you, has, yeah, basics, yeah. Yeah. yeah what yeah, do you mean yeah, things yeah. were in slow motion? I just, I remember seeing my daughter on the beach. I remember shouting for help. I could see people. There's the kind of car park up in the Keys. Like, everything was just, yeah, I, everything was just complete. It was the most strangest feeling. Um, Must have been strange in the sense that what you were observing was life going on normally, whereas what was going through your head was panic, fear. Oh, unbelievable and I co- and I kept trying to feel ground underneath me and I couldn't um, but I could and the man out of nowhere came down and just grabbed me and pulled me in Did you jump um, in? 
he w- was in, down into his waist anyway. I had managed to come in a bit. I wonder, was there a current pulling you out? There was. There is. It's just there where kind of the boats come in to yawl. So I found out yesterday that the, the bank there was after being dredged years, years ago. Um, so there's a bit of a, a small bit of a current just there. If you walk along there when the tide is out, you could see the drop. God, I'm uh, you know, do you think yeah, you, do you think you yeah. were a goner? I don't. I uh, I thought Ava was a goner. If I'm being perfectly honest, mm. I really did. I really did. How she was so brave, so proud of her. Like how she and she can't swim. How she kept her head above water, I'll never know. She was just super, absolutely super. Um, <sighs> you know. I know. Yeah, and in those, and it's just like you find yourself automatically acting, and then afterwards, it's just this shock and disbelief, you know. Um, Listen, it only takes seconds, particularly for for children to drown in the tiniest drop of water. Never mind an ocean of it. Yeah, and I said it to Eva afterwards. I was like, "What happened?" And she said, "When she was sitting down, she put her hand back." to roll over and there was no ground underneath her. Oh my God almighty. So, so this, she wasn't even yeah. standing or she was just sitting down and, and you know, it's, yeah. So it's this guy silly. jumps in with his phone still in his hand yeah. um, and grabs you. Grabs Eva. Grabs with his Ava. phone still in his hand, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, just super. Yeah. He, like, he was there for a reason, you know. Um, I got his name. His name was Nigel, and I just I want to find the two men. And how did you get out? Us. Pardon? How did you get out? I was able to kind of swim a bit, and the second chap came and was able to pull me, and I found my feet. Um, you'd like to find out who that other gentleman was? Oh, yes, and when I came back up afterwards, they were sitting alongside us. He was wearing a red top, and I was talking to him and his partner, and he kids and but I'm just in shock I just never got his name and he said to me he was like I pulled you out and I thanked him and I just kind of it was only yesterday when everything kind of I just I was I, I should have got his name and a number for them but God yeah, so I just want to find I know let's find, let's find the two of them but come here yeah. you, you then had to go and tell Ava's family I suppose Oh, my God. God almighty, yeah. I wouldn't have the words for it, like. Do you know something? Yeah. It, she, yeah. They she feel so responsible. Oh, unbelievable. And, you know, Catherine and Daniel are lovely, lovely people. And I felt comfortable, able to approach them to tell them what happened, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, look, at the end of the day, Ava was a superstar, just a superstar. And I'm so happy you know, that everything worked out in the end, that we're not dealing with another tragedy at the start of another summer, you know? God knows. Yes, there's and, been an, yes yeah, exactly. Been enough of so us. I just, yeah, I just, I'd love to find the two men. Right, and anyway, get listen, meal let, voucher let, or, tell, no, let, let, if you would, I'd love to get involved in this if I could. Now, if you want to, if okay. you want to paddle your own canoe, fine. But we know no. of Nigel, but we need to find Nigel and we need to find the other chap who, um, also help to say we need to find his name. We need to track both of them down. I tell you what, I, you know what I'd love to do. I'd love to hook up with Padraig, who owns Clancy's on the Strand. There, you know, a fabulous bar restaurant. Do you yeah. know what? And I'd love maybe yeah. to organise lunch for the two of them, or a voucher for them, a couple of pints, maybe some food off the menu. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that'd be super, just super. Yeah, I, yeah, that'd be amazing. Because I know that Padraig wouldn't mind. He'd love to be involved in this. He's a good guy. So, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a local business. And I don't know whether they're local chaps or not, but... Let's, I'd, I'd, I'd never seen them before. So let's put the I word out and I'm see if we town. can... Let's see, put, okay, so let's put the word out and find them. This happened, I'm going to guess, so, you said Sunday afternoon, the very hot Sunday afternoon at yeah, the, the Mount Beach. Le, okay, so if anybody knows who they are, get in touch. Text 86 8104 If it was you, or indeed if it was the other guy, Nigel, do get in touch with us because Julie wants to thank you and so does all of us. But come, do you and now... Ava's do you, mom and dad as well, and, yeah. And Ava's mom and dad too. Red. FM. Okay, just winding back to before 10, I was talking to Julie Marks and, and really what could have been an awful uh, catastrophe, uh, a double catastrophe down y'all on beautiful Sunday. Julie, good morning. Hi. Now, um, 
we were looking to find the two lads involved, right? And yes. I've managed to I've managed to have some luck in that because uh, Nigel's brother was listening to the show this morning uh, and okay. was listening to you and rang Nigel and then Nigel rang me. So Nigel, good morning. Good morning, Neil. How are you? Congratulations, listen, pal. You uh, made you no, 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 no. To your grand, your grand. I, my natural instinct, like I had. You know what I mean, I had to. I took it to my own, like you know, seven and nine, like so. You know. What did you see happening? Okay, I was down there by the water right, with my own two kids, and I was just trying to take pictures on my phone of you know, my two kids, you know. Yeah. And um, I seen a girl actually only messing, you know, like tumbling in the water or whatever, like you know. That's what and, Julie um, said. But, yeah, people thought my. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I said to myself, that's not that enough right now. She's, she's getting into difficulty there. Like I said to myself, that's not right at all. So she was like, I heard her saying, help, help. So I kind of I, I kind of stood there, free froze for a while there for a minute. And then I thought to myself, no, this girl needs help now. So I think it was her mother, was it? She, she ran no, in. I'm, I, no, she's my friend, my, my oh, daughter's friend. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so she ran in, she goes, help her, help her. So she got behind her trying to drag her in. But there's a depth in the water, you see. So when she said help, help, I ran in that day. I caught her hand. I had the phone in my hand, you know. And um, I um, grabbed her hand anyway. But she, I kind of got the difficulty myself, a small bit. But then I kind of got my bearings with my foot on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the ground, like, you know, under the water. And eventually I just caught her hand and I just pulled her out of the water. Did you get a, f- a shock yourself when the ground I was gone from shock, Yeah, I kind of got a shock myself. All right, like, I, was, I, was, I was stunned. Like, I thought she was only messing first. And I said, to myself, no, she's in a difficulty there now. So I said to myself, no, no, I have to do something here now. Like, so, you know. Incredible. And, uh, you probably lost your footing as well, Nigel, when you I went did, in the I, I, kind of I kind of went under a small, but all right. But then I kind of eventually kind of wrapped onto the, with my, my feet on the stones. I kind of done my best to, 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 to stamp my feet on the ground, like, so I eventually got there and I kind of pulled out there. And you were only up for a few, you were only visiting, were you? Yeah, I'm originally from Cork, like, but I'm living in New Ross, going to Epsom there for the last couple of years. So my brother and me to come up to the beach. So I said, may you make a day of it? Like, it was a fine day, you know? Yeah. So I said, might as well just um, go up for the day. And we were there from 11 o'clock to go four, like, so... And then that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Like, and I just pulled out and, you know, so. Well, you, you know, it's it's big of you to play down your involvement, but you you know, you're, amazing. You, you're still yeah. responsible for saving a life. You can be damn you sure. I'm happy. That. I'm happy. That I did, you know, I just, I took it my own. I don't know that is like. So I said to myself, no, I have to kind of help to go out here. Like, so. Well, Julie was so appreciative. She got in touch with oh me trying God, to find yeah. you. Indeed, yeah, no, no, that's fair play. Girl. She, she, I don't like. She's I don't know any of it. Would have done like you know. Well, you know, yeah, but sometimes it's too late, you know. Yeah, forever no, grateful. I know. It could take a split second, you know. To, to split second. Split yeah, yeah. What you say, Julie? Forever grateful. My parents are very grateful as well for, like, just absolutely. Oh, yeah, no, that's no problem. That's, tell them that's no problem at all. Jesus, uh, no uh, problem. Fair play, Nigel. Listen, do you know who the other chap was at all? No, I wouldn't have a clue. It was just random. I wouldn't have a clue. Were you, I, ch- I haven't been on the yard beach in, 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 Were you chatting with him like, afterwards or anything? No, no, I actually didn't see him. I thought I didn't. I thought she got her herself. I didn't do it. Somebody actually took out of the water. All right. Okay. Okay. No, so I'm just a child. Like obviously, I'd married into them, but the child mainly. Do you know what I'm Okay. You know, well, but, uh, listen. It, it's early days. We're keen to track down the other chap as well. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So my brother was listening there, and I just said, "He ran me. Go. I get in contact with him." So I did. So. And, and and what's it like being uh, isolated and uh, and banished to Wexford? Oh, uh, I, I don't even know what Catholic Catholic looks like anymore. I tell you, the <laughs> yeah. uh, what can you do? Only get on with it, like and just take the, <laughs> by the end, you know. That's all you can do, like. That's it, fine. That's your penance. What can you do? That's it. That's it. That's it. You see, uh, I was like, I tell you what, Nigel, you thank you so much for Sunday. No thank you. No problem, girl. No problem. All right. Listen, um, I want to organise. Um, how many's in the family? My my mom, my own family. Yeah. Uh, there's four, two kids and, and my partner. Okay, so you and your partner and your two kids, we have a, we have a table booked and reserved for you in Clancy's Bar and Restaurant on the Strand in Yall. Uh, it's easy to do it. I want to do it. It's important to do it. Yeah. So the next time you're up, the next day it's going to be sunny and you get a couple of days notice. Um, I'm going yeah. to give your details to Clancy's. They're going to be expecting your booking and you're going to be sorted and you can treat yourself and the family to a nice meal. All right? Oh, gee, thank you very much, Neil. Boy. You Thanks deserve a million. it. Well he's, done, Nigel. You deserve it. No problem at all, lads. No problem at all. The Voice of Cork. Neil Prendeville. Weekdays 9 to midday. Cork's Red FM.